For many of you, you might be slimming down because there is a new person in the picture and you're trying to, you know, look your best and act your best. But either way, I do feel that the physical activities um, is actually doing a great deal of good for you guys, not only physically, but also emotionally and spiritually. So I do feel that you're coming into this month with a little bit of a happy face, okay? What I'm feeling as well is for a very small minority of you, just a small minority, um, a lot of you have been in a uh, situation where you were kind of like knowingly a third party to somebody else. So you might be, you know, the third party um, involved with somebody that you know is in a relationship with somebody else. And I do feel that, you know, you might have left this situation behind, but it is your birthday time. So there's like communication and things like that coming through between you and another person. And likewise, I feel like, you know, for those of you who are um, starting out, emerging into it like a new relationship, and things are going really well, I do see trips, a lot of communication taken by another person to come see you. And another or another person coming uh, you coming to see another person and I feel that there are going to be serious discussions that need to be had so there's a lot of communication and I do feel it is of a serious manner regarding a significant person if you are living at a distance from them or if it's like a new person you're having a discussion to see like you know what do we do where do we go from here how do we proceed forward I do see that um, there's a lot of invitations coming through for you guys in general, you know, for social outings, for professional outings as well. But I feel that you are being very, very selective about who you spend your time with for the majority of this month, mainly because I feel that, you know, you do have a lot on your plate in terms of like decluttering your house, possibly even like, you know, getting money to fix a house. Or, um, you know, doing some renovation, doing some tidying up so that you can prepare for some massive, you know, uh, holiday gathering and things like that. I do see a lot of healing coming through from the home environment as well. So things are really starting to, you know, either finalize or at least, you know, getting a lot better in your external environment, be it relationships with other people, family, friends, acquaintances, colleagues, or even, you know, love interests. Um, overall, I do see that, you know, you're able to close a lot of doors on things that have been straggling, especially legal paperwork. There's resolution at least, and there's a lot of just, um, uh, good, you know, finality coming through. So at least you have that closure. Going back to the uh, reading I did last month, I feel that everything was like really up in the air. Like the dust wasn't very settled. And I feel that this is the month in which everything, you know, starts to settle. You can exhale and you know how to proceed moving forward into this month as well as the new year. Okay. So those are the messages I'm getting for you guys. Um, let's go into this reading here. One of the first two um, cards that I got out here is the Lovers as well as the Justice card. Uh, both of these things indicate to me some type of a contract between two people, be it in business or in you know love relationships. What I'm sensing here is this is more of a business vibe to me and it indicates some sort of a uh, an agreement between you and another person. So some sort of possibly assets being transferred between two parties and they're going to have to reach an agreement. I do feel that the other person that you're involved with, they're kind of skittish. Like they're not really sure they want to sign yet. It's not that they don't want to sign, but I, I do feel that they have a lot on their plate that they're trying to consider or reconsider. And as a result of it, they're not really sure how to proceed forward. I feel that for a lot of you, you might be dealing with an air sign. I'm getting, you know, the card of Gemini, the card of um, Libra is here. So there's a lot of discussions had about, you know, taking a relationship to the next level, or at least like a, a discussion with a partner, business or romance, where both parties have to uh, decide on, you know, the roles that are, uh, undertaken by both parties so you're trying to find a way to mediate with one another and you're trying to find a way to I guess like allocate or even um, uh, delegate responsibilities who's supposed to be doing what and you know how are both parties able to I guess like match up their responsibilities in a way where they both can work together as a unit I do see a lot of cooperation coming through 
between you and institutions. So, you know, in the past, if you have been pushing, pushing, pushing for a specific outcome and people weren't doing their job or they weren't, they weren't where they're supposed to be, I do see a more of a smooth sailing type of energy coming through for this month in which transactions are very fair, are very like, um, I guess transparent and there's a lot of uh, a great deal of mutual trust mutual respect and mutual rapport between two people that can make the situation be streamlined and to move forward in a harmonious manner the second cluster that is um, that's coming up here is we have the Queen of Swords and the three of swords the Queen of Swords is a an air sign. This is an Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And I do feel this is an energy representing another person. A lot of you might have this person in your midst. And there's talks about, you know, trips, travels taken. There is talks about separation as well. So this can be, you know, they're temporarily out of the picture. And there's going to be some type of a... Um, either a reunion coming through where you are bridging the distance between you and this person. What I'm also feeling as well is um, this is also a card about consulting, okay? Um, you might be in a position where you are seeing a financial consultant, a therapist, or even some type of a, a professional, like medical professional, in order to, you know, talk about surgery, in order to talk about, like, um, even hospital visits, uh, physical therapy does come up to me very strongly. Um, the Queen of Swords, in this regard, I do feel it's more of a professional that is giving you some type of solid advice in order to help a situation. So they're not hindering your progress. They're here to help you with the situation, how to improve, streamline, you know, something that you're doing, how to make things better, how to improve your health, especially as it relates to like cholesterol, um, blood sugar. I do feel something related to like, you know, the bloodstream or the bloodline, okay? And I do sense that it's more of a um, professional giving you some type of consultation, giving you some type of advice in order to help some aspect of your life that you've been struggling with. On the other hand, when they mention, you know, uh, blood-related things, I feel like for some of you, this could be a blood relative of yours, okay? So it's coming in as a female energy for many of you. So Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, female, somebody who is a little bit like very intelligent, extremely thorough, extremely intelligent, very reliable. And I feel like they might help you to finish some paperwork. They might help you with some type of, uh, you know, investment opportunities, advice on how to invest your money properly. And if they are a blood relative of your, you know, cousins, um, aunts, um, maternal figure even, or even daughters, what I feel is you might not have seen this person or spent a, a significant amount of time with this person. There is something coming through in order to bridge the distance between the two of you, okay? So I feel like if there has been a separation in the past, they are coming through in a harmonious manner in order rec to reconcile with you or to bridge the distance with you. So I feel that a lot of you might come into contact with this person, this air sign, and they are giving you some solid, valuable advice. What is coming through as well is we do have the Fool and the Ace of Cups. Now, the Ace of Cups indicates to me a brand new opportunity that is on the table. For some of you, you might be seeing a physical trainer even in order to get yourself in shape. And a lot of you might have an idea, you know, in terms of like the ideal uh, shape that you want to be in and you're working with another person in order to reach that your goals, okay? So I'm glad... For those of you who are doing this, I'm glad that you are, mainly because I feel like, you know, it is birthday time when we are very enthusiastic and we have that solo return where the sun is in your constellation, which is going to give you a very, very good boost when it comes to um, staying on track, staying disciplined and, you know, having a goal and sticking to it. Okay, so this is a very beautiful, supported energy. And I do feel a lot of you are at a point where you are taking your health very, very, very seriously. Um, for others of you, I feel like there might be communication coming through from either, you know, some type of a hospital institution regarding some type of um, 
results for health related blood tests for health related like uh, something that was held up in the past you're getting some type of clear indicator you know what's wrong you're getting some some prognosis or some diagnoses that are that makes sense to you so that you know how to proceed forward I do see a lot of like t taking care of yourself self maintenance and um, you know getting your metabolism up for a lot of you happening in this spread now what's coming through in terms of your spiritual advice? I do have the star and the star is a massive, massive healing card. Once again, the health situation, there is some type of resolution. You are seeing the, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel. And if you have been dealing with some type of either, either like cardiovascular health issues or even joints or even like things that might have really restricted your movement, I do feel a lot of you are taking better care of yourself. You're moving your, um, your, you're like consulting somebody with some type, type of dietary uh, supplements, dietary needs, and you know, doing some portion control and doing some uh, stringent exercises as well in order to get yourself to a point where you are feeling very, very comfortable with your body. If in the past you have not been feeling, you know, like you might have dealt with some body issues, gaining a little bit of weight, losing a little bit of weight or not feeling like, you know, completely comfortable or confident with the way that you look, I definitely feel some major transformations happening. And it's all a result of hard work. And I feel that, you know, the, you're going to really enjoy the results that you're seeing for this month. The star card links up here with the four of wands. So I do feel a lot of reconciliation within the family unit. A lot of people coming together. It could be the holiday season. Or it could just be because there is like, um, you know, it's also your, your birthday time. So there's a lot more of peace offering coming through from other people. There's also like a, an air of like, I feel people are being a lot more courteous, a lot more self-aware of what they're bringing to the table. And I do sense a lot of people coming together and peace offerings being had, okay? Um you do have some very, very strong divine protection here. So if you were wondering whether or not you're in the right, you know, you've been going the right way or if you're in the right, um, if you're headed in the right direction, I would say this. I feel like a lot of you, there might be new, a new, renewed sense of like loving your life. You're not stressed out anymore. I feel like a very elevated, uplifted type of energy. It indicates to me you're walking towards on the right path. For those of you who are still dealing with straggling, struggling relationships, it's important for you to like look the other way because I feel like you have so much potential and opportunities that are trying to come through for you here with the Emperor. This is divine protection and this is kind of like steering you, you know, they're, they're gently nudging you in the right direction. And he's got a globe on his hand, so he's basically telling you in the future, you have a lot of new, new opportunities that are made available to you. And it's important for you not to, not to like cling on so tightly to the way that you think, one way of doing. And, you know, like being a little bit too tunnel vision because you're missing out on other opportunities that might even be better for you. So don't cling on to straggling, struggling relationships. You have a very powerful aura coming through with this reading as well as with that solar return. And um, you are, you know, a lot of you are having that... Um, Saturn transit Sagittarius right now and you're still either like dealing with the uh, beginning of it or the middle of it it's not over yet but they're t pretty much telling you that you know karmic relationships during a Saturn transit they either you will either run into karmic people people that are preordained or that are karmically um, fated to meet you or those karmic relationships that have been troublesome and straggling along those are supposed to, you know, be laid to rest for good, okay? So you have some very strong spiritual insights here to let you know that you're on the right track, especially if you are venturing out, doing new things, taking better care of your health, and especially, you know, signing contracts, letting things end. I also feel a lot of discussions being had about new places of living. There might be people moving in, people moving out. You're thinking about relocating as well. And there's also trips, travel in order to reunite with some type of a family. I do see an ancestral home. 
So, for example, if your father, your mother, or, you know, um, grandparents and things like that from the maternal or paternal side of the family, if they have some property, I feel like some of you might be returning or might be thinking about returning to uh, take care of the ancestral property or even trying to decide whether to, whether to sell it, whether to rent it out, or whether you will inhabit the 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 um the house okay so there's a lot of discussions about generational wealth about generational assets so like ancestral home the home you grew up in the home that you know your parents your uh, ancestors might own it could even pertain to a plot of land so i do feel a lot of you are thinking about what to do um I feel like for some of you, um, you are doing some massive redecorating of your home. And I feel like it's not just for the holiday seasons. Um, it might be actually long term. And I feel like you want to be a little bit careful because I feel like you're you're going over budget. Like you're, you're spending very extravagantly. You're in a good state. You're feeling very positive. You want to declutter your environment, get rid of everything. And then remodel, redecorate. And I feel that you want to be very clear about staying in budget. And especially, you know, if you're dealing with contractors, um, just be careful that, you know, you're not being... Um, you're not being like too naive, like they might tell you, uh, they might recommend the most expensive thing, or they might rec recommend like the most labor intensive long term project. And I feel that, you know, at, at the time, it sounds good. But the project, the renovation might, you know, drag on for months and months and months, and you're dealing with very, very expensive, I feel like a lot of shiny marble, like, um, uh, I, I'm seeing like very expensive remodeling projects and at, at the time it seems good but I feel like you know come January February when the contractors are still in your space you might feel like this is not what I sign up for and you might like want to abandon the project halfway just be very careful um, going for the minimal list look is going to be in your favor for this um, especially this month so don't go overboard when it comes to like you know remodeling renovations and things like that or even excavations don't spend all of your money because I feel that you know you you have you have you you want to be a little bit more extravagant this month and it's not the most practical choice to um, the most most practical route to take when these are like cosmetic changes okay so just be careful about that so, we are going to go into your love reading now. Just give me a second while I get the cards shuffled out. Actually going to read them in the upright position this time and I'm going to overlay them twice okay that way we have a total of 10 cards and then we'll go into your reading Okay, and I'm going to pull an extra card here for this tower situation. Okay, so let me talk about the past so that you know whether or not this pertains to your situation at all, okay? So, singles and people who are in relationships, it's going to be together. So let's talk about the past situation here. The past situation, we have the Two of Swords. This is a card about, you know, a stalemate. This is a card about not making a decision, waiting it out, trying to see which direction things are going. I feel like for a lot of you, you might have somebody that you are very emotionally in tune with. 
uh, you have a very, very good, you know, like rapport in general. And I'm feeling like you might be dealing with somebody who's kind of like happy with the status quo. They don't really want to change things or at least they're very, very indecisive and they're taking, they take a really long time. They take their sweet time in order to make up their mind, in order to like figure out how they feel or in order to move things along. They're not a very aggressive person and I feel that, you know, um, a lot of you might have to, you know, have a talk with a, a, a specific person and you might tell them, here's what I feel and you lay it out all out on the table and they're, they're still trying to, you know, make sense of it and they're very, very slow to arrive at a decision. So I feel that, you know, you could be dealing with an air sign that is coming through or you could be dealing with a water sign. So let me just um, f figure this out here. I feel that you're dealing with somebody who takes a really, really long time to figure out how they want to proceed or you are in a situation where, you know, things are kind of like... Um, it might be a new person and you feel like you don't have enough information yet in order to decide whether to scrap the relationship or to move the relationship along. What is linked up with that here is the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune basically means um, somebody needs to make a decision in order for things to move forward. And there is a little bit of a stalemate, mainly because the other person is not really making up their mind or there isn't enough information here. You feel like you don't have all the information you need in order to make a decisive, you know, uh, choice as to what to do. A lot of you might be dealing with like many options on your the table as well, and you're trying to, you know, just um, delegate, like spend time with each person in order to figure things out to to see who is the best option. So what I'm sensing is for a lot of you, there might like a lot of you are coming into this month kind of um, still single but talking to many people like or even talking to one person but you're not at a point where you want to take the relationship to the next level yet or see each other exclusively just yet which brings us to the present situation we have an air sign here this is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra this is somebody that is very, very, very intelligent. I feel that this is somebody with a good sense of humor. They are letting their guard down around you. Usually they are very guarded, but they are letting their guard down around you. I feel that you or this person, so this is a sun, moon, or rising, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, that you are heavily involved with. There's a lot of electronic communication. This is like, you know, the, the Tinder card. This is like... Um, messaging through email, through text messages, phone calls as well. I do see a lot of virtual communication between you and this person. And I feel like a lot of you are, this is a really good energy actually, because you know, in the past, I, <laughs> I'm sensing, you know, the past two years, you were dealing, a lot of you might have been specific person, not that you're not, you know, that you won't, but you want somebody that gives you a lot of intensity and you want something really very exciting in order for you to invest your all. So the crowning energy is something that, that's on your mind that you're thinking about. So a lot of you have transitioned, you know, into some type of a trouble from a troublesome situation where somebody took their sweet time and didn't make up their mind about how they want to proceed forward with you. And I feel that that left you in a situation where you felt like you had no choice but to leave them behind and to move forward and on your own. Now, the Six of Swords is a situation where you are moving from a troublesome situation into um, calmer water. I usually think about this as, you know, travel, but also whatever you're leaving behind in the past, it was very unpleasant, okay? It was very tumultuous. It was like a lot of, um, I, I feel like there was a lot of conflict. There was a lot of like harsh words thrown about between two people. And in a way, you can almost uh, say that, you know, um, too much has been said. So it's really difficult for that situation to repair itself. It's really difficult to let bygones be bygones. You don't really have a choice, but to move forward without the other person. And I feel that, a lot of you have been dating 
because we have the three of uh, cups as well. This is a socially dating card. This is like going out, having the time of your life, interacting with a lot of people, meeting a lot of people, and it indicates like flirtations as well. So a lot of you have just, you know, recently left something behind. You're back on the dating scene, okay? Or you are kind of like still a little bit uh, sore, you're, you're still like your heart is a little bit sore as a result of some past situation that happened. You're filling in the void by going out to date, going out to socialize, relying on your friends, sisters, um, you know, loved ones in order to um, may, help you forget this past situation that you were in. But either way, I feel that you're emerging from your cocoon. You know, you're emerging from like some type of isolation in order to surround yourself with a lot of positive people, okay? And in the dating environment, I do feel it is very, very positive. Um, like, um, a, a lot of dating prospects are coming through for you. And there, I, I do see water sign that you are, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that you are dating. And you're trying to decide how to proceed. You're trying to decide how to make this into a solid stable relationship because i feel like it's not a it's not very grounded there are some challenges associated with this union between you and the other person there might be geographical distance separating you and another person hence a lot of electronic communication and you're you're racking your brain trying to figure out how to make this situation come together and so what's coming through for you in the future position here we have the 9 of wands and the 9 of wands is kind of like um, not giving up, deciding to fight another day. So this is a card about advancement, forward movement. Uh, it, it's it's like not giving up the fight, but rather drudging on for another day. The nine indicates like a, a number of creativity. It's not completely stable on its own. And I do feel that you have a situation here that you're just like, I see that, I, I feel that a lot of you are, see the potential in a new person and you don't really know how it's going to work but I feel like a lot of you are just tired of like having to plan out everything down to the minute detail you're just like I want to just go with the flow I want to just give my heart away in order to see where it's going to lead and a lot of you are in a state where you are content whatever the situation might be you're just content and you don't really want to like have to make a choice or you don't really want to be the one to like have to plan out everything. So I feel you're taking a little bit of a step back and letting the other person take charge in order for them to either make up their mind or to decide how to proceed with you. So you're done fighting. You're done struggling. I feel like to push things along a specific way or to overly um, to like plan things. So you're, you're taking a step back and you're letting the other uh, person take charge just to see if they're willing to meet you halfway. And I do feel that, that they are, okay? We do have the tower coming through as well. And the tower is some type of a breakdown when it comes to the way that we've been seeing a situation. It's kind of like a reality check, okay? And I pulled out some cards here just to see what is associated with it. What we have here is the magician, which is somebody who is a very, very smooth talker. They are very intelligent. They have a lot of projects on their plate. And I do feel for a lot of you, it's really, really important that, you know, you're not getting swept off your feet or getting carried away when it comes to spending a lot of your time communicating with like multitude people like a multitude of people because I feel like you have a lot of things on your end that you need to take care of so they're saying take a step back from this mainly because you need to take care of real world responsibilities first and on the other hand if you are in a dating environment you have a lot of suitors that are coming through for you and I feel that you know you have a, a very young person here um, not biologically but I feel that their energy is still very young they have a lot of um a lot of growth that needs to happen from their end. And I feel that some of you feel as if you can't give them the love that they're giving you, but you're still clinging on to this situation because you feel very flattered that they are investing so much time in you. And I do sense, you know, the, the tower comes in as a reality check to tell you that you're making great strides right now in your work 
also in the dating front on the dating front and a lot of the times we instinctively automatically know how things are going to work out if, whether or not we feel chemistry with another person so I feel like if you're not feeling it with this water sign then I do sense that you need to like leave that situation alone rather than hurt them further down the line we have the four of cups here which indicates like a situation where you are reassessing the options that are made available to you there is an overall sense of dissatisfaction but I do feel that you are grateful that the options are coming through none of them are really panning out in the you know in a tremendously great manner so for those of you who are still dating you have a lot of options coming through but I do feel that you know you're still communicating with somebody from the past hoping that they're making up their mind between you and another person and you're just like waiting you know you're, you're filling your time up with these um, other options keeping while keeping an eye open keeping keeping the door open for the person from the past to return and they're telling you you know pretty much this is a reality check here where you want to be very directed okay about your where you are wasting or spending your time where you're wasting your energy because I do feel from the past it's not going to pan out in the manner that you'd hope okay so just be very careful about that and the last card here is the four of swords and the four of swords is like the stoppage in communication somebody is like retreating and they're not um, it, it's, it's like difficult to reach out to them um, be very careful about travel check if you're traveling to see another person this month if they're traveling to see you check to make sure you have travel insurance check to make sure there are you know like like work out the logistics between you and another person because I feel like you're sailing into the unknown and it might not be the wisest choice if you just recently met somebody especially online and they are rushing things or you're rushing things to go see them and vice versa they're coming to see you so just be very careful okay because I feel like for a lot of you, just be careful with the way that you communicate too. If everything is done via text and, you know, you're not having the face-to-face -face interaction, you're not having the, the, you know, a live contact or even live phone calls, that is not really a relationship. That is a time filler for the other person. Does that make sense? So if you, for some reason, you know, you're investing a lot of your time in a, a person and for some reason they don't never want to meet they never they're never available to have a phone conversation with you just know that you know they're just filling in their time they're filling in their void because they're bored and they're not serious about starting a relationship for those of you who are in a stable relationships so stable partnerships and marriages what I do sense is um there is an element of like, I don't know if you are, um, if somebody is like taking a trip to go on business and, you know, there's going to be some type of a coming back together. There is, just be very, very careful about, you know, keeping your emotions in check and asking questions and if the other person is you know answering truthfully but I feel that in your head you might have conjured up a story while they were gone and things like that so just be very careful keep things in perspective especially for those who are in stable relationship because I feel like a contentious I feel a contentious energy there might be a little bit of arguments and things like that and I do feel as well that um, going back to the other message, if you are re remodeling, redecorating and things like that, I do feel there's an element of one person being a little bit too extravagant. Um, one person wanting to stay within budget, the other person um, is more prone to emotional spending. It could be you or your partner, but I feel that there might be some issues regarding financial um, obligations and one person being too extravagant, okay? So overall, it is going to be a good month. We do have some tremendous healing energy. The star card is coming out again. So they're feeling, I feel like if you are dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and this is somebody that you are heavily communicating via, you know, um, electronic communications, um, via electronic means, I do see there's going to be a major communication breakthrough with this person that will provide a very, very good, um, a, a very, very good, like, coming together between you and them, all right? So, Sagittarius, I wish you all a very, very happy birthday. 